kids regret saying that when they see a new face in top three? I haven't been there. I don't want to see people get better other than myself. <laughs> I just want to beat people. Everybody, you know, encouragement is nice and all, but you need to no. stay in your two tour corner. I can't be sweating against you guys. That scares me. Yes. It's like I don't belong here. Real uh, guy, imposter syndrome guy, here. Guy that just got like 19. <laughs> hey, nothing to sneeze at here at Xeno. Yeah. And Fernate is going to be riding this high. This is a personal best whether they fall here or succeed to go on to Grand Finals. This is a triumph either way. Yeah. And they're starting off super strong and ready. Ready doing at the pseudo Diddy Infinite right there. And just putting John numbers in Meek. their place. 28% only on them. And yeah. John doesn't have a moment to breathe. No. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, John is cursed tonight with these barrels. And Fernape so blessed. Fernape outplaying John numbers at this current moment in time. Yeah, there's nothing about skill here. No luck. All calculated. Yeah. And this is the summer this is the strongest they've ever played, I've seen. Yes. I don't know what they did differently, like, to train for this moment, but keep doing that. Yeah. You know what they say. Decrease the temperature a bit. Oh, yeah. that's they it. They get stronger. <laughs> but it's always okay. going to be a fight over the thermostat now. Yeah. 94% against John Numbers. Okay. Don't go for the angel drop right there. Yeah, John's starting to call that out. But, like, when it works the first time, there's a... Kind of moments of like, oh, this should keep working. Yeah. But it's a gambler's fallacy. Oh, that's the best type of palace. <laughs> gamblers? That's right. Just keep gambling. Eventually, you'll win, King. Yeah. That's how it works. 99% <laughs> of gamblers quit before they get big. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one time I was like uh, gambling on a cruise ship way back when. Oh. And Inferno gambled with their life there. Taking it over, John. All right, you know yeah, what? Uh, we even saw if, if they win, they got to go get a lotto ticket. Yeah, we saw that reversal on the winner's side, and this is the second time they got it on John. This is first time. Okay, maybe it was my mistake. This is calculated right now. He knows what he's doing. He's been thinking about this matchup for a while. John numbers evening it up with only 14%, but man, we have ourselves a set right now. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they have been studying the bonds, they've been hitting the training, but now they just have to make this happen for the second time this night. Ooh. John back. is never behind. All right. Okay. Now it's a guessing game. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I feel like an up smash would have taken that, yeah, I but John didn't believe. John usually goes for a down smash there, so also surprising that he went for that smash. Okay, Inferno catching the banana. Going for it? No, nothing. John following as fast as he can. And a forward tilt takes it. Oh, man. So Inferno, I think, jumped in the blast zone. Yeah. Just, like, still getting stuck in. Because they didn't immediately die right there. Yeah, if we can see that last stock one more time, I want to get confirmation on that. Yeah. It wasn't oh. bad DI. They, they, they held in as much as yeah. they could. Well, it wasn't the best because they could have went up. Right. But they went uh, kind of straight. Let's see here. Did they jump? Yeah. They, yeah. Air, they jumped they jump or air dodge, one of the two. Ah, I think that's a real shame. But they did <laughs> the press a button in the black zone. And that's why you died. You pressed the button. Sometimes yeah. you don't mash. Three, We're going to be mashing our way into game number two. One, oh, okay. All right. I was like, you don't have to throw away the first stock mm. now. Yeah. You can still got this. All right. I like the patience right there. I like the song choice also. Picking tulips, it's great. It reminds me yeah. of Amsterdam every time. <laughs> reminds me of Peach. Because <laughs> I call her Plucky Turnips. <laughs> oh. Turnips, tulips, yeah. they're both really nice. With, with a quick read, I can make that lie work. <laughs> <laughs> Plucky Turnips. Do you look at it real quick? Oh, yeah. And yeah. then you actually read it and it's like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm just illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're Friday game players. We're not here to read. You're not here to look at frame data either. <laughs> nah. Some people just play by soul. That's and that's, right. That's what it looks like these two players, or at least Inferno play by soul. Sometimes you just got to feel it. At this level, you're playing against the player, not the character. Yeah. And they're going back and forth. That banana just missing John. Ooh. 
Oh, making it through. No way. Not gonna take the stock right there. It was so close, and Fernie felt that. Yeah. Both the kill percents. Okay, keeping John at bay. Yeah, and that's gonna be it. And Fernie trying to get as much extra credit now as possible. Respecting yeah. John. And that was the good part about John. He didn't not take a lot of extra credit once it came to the last stock. Only had him, had him 14 percent by the final stock and just evening it all back up. You just have to stick to the game plan if it's working. No need to overextend. Yeah. A good call out there. Finally, a monkey flip, catching a grab. This is some good conditioning from Fernape against John, yeah. putting him on the defensive. All right, keeping the ground, catching the roll. And up air gonna take it right there. Only 37%. What you were saying earlier is that John has been just coming up pretty quick off the ledge. And Fernape hasn't been able to capitalize on that very yeah. well. Yeah, so Fernape started off strong with that spike, catching John doing like an immediate, something immediate off ledge. But now it's kind of just giving John a bit too much respect. And yeah. I think maybe it's because they lost the first game, now they're starting to doubt themselves, which is not a good sign. Yeah, you don't. Have, this is not a best of five. You have to win this if you want to continue. Yeah. We, we play best of threes, as you know. We got to be out of here. That's right. We have work tomorrow. Yeah. Us working stiffs have bills to pay. Same. I, I know all the problems. <laughs> oh, man. This is the problem of living alone. Yeah. Well, blessing and a curse. This problem of living on Long Island. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. L LR, the Long Island Railroad does not pay for itself. It, it does not. I drove here, gas doesn't pay for itself either. Oh. Yeah. Just like that, Infernape manages to make it back. Getting too aggressive on John Shields. Oh. Okay, I thought we were going to see the spike right there. I feel like Infernape was yeah. ready for that tech. Yeah. All right, picking up Banana. And numbers. Having an item guy to pick up like Gyro definitely works on picking up Banana a lot of instances. Oh my god! John readjusting their face mask, asking where things went wrong. Yeah, no. Furnit at 180. Okay, this should be stock right here. Porto going to do it. That's okay. He made a statement. Yeah, most. He's like, I struck first. Yeah, most getup attacks are like minus 40, so you can get a lot. A punishes off that. So, grab being this one, dash attack being that one, they are fairly laggy yeah, when you commit to them. John hasn't taken any damage. Looking to close this out so fast. He's in the number zone. No. He's calculating. Oh, okay. Infernate maybe gonna go in? I like the mix up with the monkey flip to the ledge. Yeah, tried to get like a two frame on numbers, but. Didn't work out right there, but keeping numbers at the ledge. No opportunity to camp. John eating a lot of damage for missing that banana throw. Yeah. Okay, nice mix up with the peanut gun. Yeah, now look at John's percent. 60, 60. 68. So if John manages to get pushed to the ledge, okay. No! Yeah, get called out. Yeah, and he was using Monkey Flip way too much to go from one side of the stage to the other. And John felt safe to just throw that out. Even if he missed, he would have been in a good position center stage to react to anything. Yeah, a lot of, um, what do you call it, Diddy's do do that, even at high level. It's Monkey Flip just being that good of a move that they're able to just get away with it. But once it gets called out like for a hard punish like that, it just makes you look foolish. Yeah. And you know, a little bit foolish there, trying to get John to wait at ledge, and that was just, you know what? Wait, rewind that Yeah, yeah, quick. rewind that. I he was at 100. He was at 100. 100 to 174. That's have a bad you, trade for John. Have you ever seen the size of that hitbox? It is just yeah, like half this. the stage, insane. I've seen the size of that hitbox. I am a hater. <laughs> why don't I, yeah, why don't I have hitboxes that good? You can play Diddy. No. Me, me IRL. Why don't I have hitboxes <laughs> that good? Oh. <laughs> Just bulk up a little bit. <laughs> going to the gym. All right. Welcome, everybody. I'm Player 4. And I'm Swiss Rider. And we're here to bring you.